What's up gamers, it's Paladin Null, and welcome back to another episode of Darksiders. In the last episode, we finished off the Black Tower and freed um, our guy, which I can't remember his name now. Azrael, that's what it was. And, um, and we also gathered up the remaining pieces of the Abyssal Armor that we have access to. And I'm sure you're probably wondering why we're starting off in the crossroads. Well... There's a specific reason for that, and it's that we haven't picked up an enchantment in a long time. And there's one specific enchantment that I, uh, that I particularly want to see if I can't grab. Basically down here, where these, uh, blue crystals are, since we haven't been back here since we got the Trimmer Gauntlet. If we destroy that, there is a chest back here. And I figured this would be a nice enchantment for us to pick up, because... Hellfire instills a melee weapon with the element of fire. And actually, I can show it off here real quick before we continue slashing here. Uh, if I simply go to this menu here. Now, Chaos Eater is currently slotted with the Weapon Master, which increases the rate that uh, we gain, I believe. Um, let's see here. What did that do again? Boost damage inflicted with weapons attack. Well, as good as that is, Hellfire not only boosts damage on strikes, but also has a chance to inflict fire damage upon targets. Something about that just makes me feel like it's a lot better. And so now we can actually see just how quickly I can kill enemies. Much more efficient, and now our sword is on fire. I just figured that was something worth picking up before we head off to do the rest of this episode. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can one- yeah, I can one-shot zombies now. But it also might have been just because I was on um, on uh, Ruin's back. But uh, we just want to head back to the Scalding Gallow now. Where that uh, Volgrim spot was that I discovered in the last episode, gathering up the pieces. And we are going to fight, I believe his name was Straga? Which was the guy that we fought at the beginning of the game. Like way back before we got Metroided. So, now that we're immensely more powerful than we were back then, let's see if we can't show Straga a thing or two. Because, if I remember correctly, Azrael has a way of getting us to Straga. So, let's go ahead and do it. Just have to actually walk my way over there. Actually, let's, let's jump on uh, Ruin, despite what he does to my FPS. We killing all the bad guys. I'm not even gonna stay here because I'm just gonna get off the horse and walk over here before any of the enemies can actually get to me. Because Samael's serpent hole. It sounds really, really dirty. Like way more dirty than it probably should be. And now we make the incredibly long journey. I probably should have cut this, but whatever I just really wanted to pick up that and I wanted to show you guys where the uh, fire enchantment was because hellfire is something you can actually pick up right after you finish the hollow and I hadn't and I probably should have because it would have helped out in the long run but doesn't make a difference we're back here in the black throne I guess I said I called it the black tower earlier the black throne and we're gonna go, uh, I don't know if we have to talk to Azriel or if he's already got the gate open for us to go find Straga. But, whatever it is, we're gonna go find Straga now. Make my way across the bridge as it's crumbling behind me. Alright, Azriel. Show me what you got. All right, he made a staircase down, didn't he? I forgot about this. Hmm. I'm seeing a treasure chest on the map. Does that mean... Well, it's a health chest. Oh, boy. Well, I didn't necessarily need that, and I actually have two life gems with me. So, or I guess they're called life essences. But, um... Let's see what's going on. Is this going to be another really long elevator ride? Yeah, this is going to be another really long elevator ride. 
and I'm guessing that there's no speeding it up and that there's not even going to be a fight for us to intake in between it. This is just supposed to build up tension before the boss fight, I assume. So how you doing, War? You uh, feeling confident about your chances against Straga? I mean, I got you this fiery Hellblade, just in case, but don't know how well it's going to work here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm seeing portal zones, so real quick, before we even start the fight, I should probably pull out my portal uh, device, the Void Walker. And boss fight. Stronger than Strog, I remember it. <laughs> but here, you face Strog with no hope of victory or escape. Strog is the mightiest of the Destroyer's chosen. And the last. Your master chose poorly. <laughs> Straga will enjoy killing you again. We didn't die the first time, did we? Alright, Straga, so you obviously have a portal on your, uh... How long will you run from Straga? Ow. Ow. Dodge that one. Okay, so we want to throw a portal on his, uh, mace there. His... <laughs> I was gonna say, from what it looks like, we can do this. And just like the guys we fought earlier in the dungeon. And now I'm supposing we beat up on his face. Alrighty. Now, real quick. Get the portal down, get the portal down. Ah, crap. Nope, no portal down for me. Um. Um. Bad guys. These guys aren't too hard to fight. This time you will stay dead. Ow. Hmm. At this rate, it'd probably be a good idea for me to have those, uh... Upgrades. Good thing we stopped and got the uh, the bonus Hellfire upgrade. This time, you will stay dead. Nope, avoided the attack that time. So it's just gonna be, uh, is it just gonna be uh, shoot the portal on his um, on his mace, uh, rinse, repeat until he dies? Does he just hit the middle of the field every single time? Because I feel like I could just stand to one side and he wouldn't hit me. Ow. None of these guys are giving me health, which also kind of bothers me. Oh, there's still one guy left. Straga will punish you for that. I'm sure you will. Straga does indeed enjoy uh, talking in the third person. Nope. Um. Ah. I don't know how to avoid that. Just want to get a portal down there. <laughs> Straga will kill you again. I'm sure you will, Straga. That's exactly why I get to do this a second time in a row. Alrighty, let's see here. Fire Sword, do your job. I always think that hitting him a bunch of times and then hitting him one really good time after that will get will deal more damage. Okay, and now we've got little ones again. Oh, it's, uh, death angels. Great. Are they just, like, corrupted angels? None of you guys are making this fun. I'm sure it is Straga. You are not a very witty boss fight, are you? Tricky 
Well, I make fun of you, but you are lowering my health significantly. Using one of my life files there. That was a complete whiff on your part. Stronger will punish you for that. Um, enemies. I need you dead so that I can actually get back to fighting the actual boss. Okay, so he's gonna do his, uh... How did I avoid that? Okay, I didn't avoid it the second time. Okay, got the portal. <clears throat> Until you are dead, because it's keeping me alive and it's making you closer to death. That's pretty much how this works. I find something that works, and I keep exploiting it until you either learn or die. You've never heard of survival of the fittest, have you? As I said, Straga and the tower are one. Now let's see how useful I can be. After his death, Abaddon, alive, and I wanted so much to believe. I was such a fool. Azrael, you saw Abaddon after he fell. Saw him? I brought him here to Eden. What treachery is this, Azrael? Eden doesn't exist. Not anymore. Ignorant sprite. I bore witness as the first ones were cast out and the garden fell to ruin. I could not let heaven's first gift and greatest weapon simply rot or worse, fall to darkness. I hid it away. The tree of knowledge. Then Abaddon has been to the tree. You must draw upon its gifts now. If some way exists to stop the Destroyer, the tree will show it to you. I never dared use it myself. Perhaps if I had, things would have been... different. And Abaddon, what of his gift? That was not for me to know. Each who comes before the tree receives a different gift. Some receive nothing. Others are driven mad by visions. Or simply destroy it. No, I cannot say for certain. Come. One more life stone for defeating Straga, and we got an achievement called Payback is a Bitch. If that isn't the fa my favorite name for an achievement, I don't know what is. So, welcome to, well, cutscene. There's no way across. There is. For those who are worthy. Or those who can fly. 
Horseman, you have fought against the darkness so long that it has mocked you. Creatures of the light will sense it, as I have. In this place, you are worse than a demon. Conquer the shadow, then you may pass. Are you ready to face yourself in the light? Not all are prepared for what they see. The Mask of Shadows. Yes. You will see into the Shadow Realm for as long as you wear the mask. Fight well. Face yourself, horseman. Mm, I don't know what this is going to end up being, but I can guarantee you it's not going to be good. The artifact bestows war with the shadow sight, revealing what is hidden. RT toggle switches between war's normal and shadow sight. Oh joy. We get to fight Shadow War. Well, it's a good thing to know that I do a better I do an okay fight with myself. Ow. How do you have a super long jump like that? I can do that too. It's not that hard. So this is actually kind of interesting. I didn't think that we'd be doing a... Oh, boy. I could also do that. <laughs> I'm glad I saved this up for this moment. The only problem is I don't think mine's going to last nearly as long as his did. Yep. So, uh... Wait. I can jump in Chaos form? I didn't know about a jump attack in Chaos form. Did we just punch his arm off? We just punched our shadow form's arm off. <laughs> Heaven's first gift awaits you. I will remain here, with the Watcher. I'm not letting the Horseman out of my sight. Where he goes, I go. Indeed. Go then, Darkling. Make for the tree. You will never reach the other side. <laughs> Hurry up. And don't forget who holds the leash. Another reason why I do not like the Watcher. But now that we have this, we finally have Shadow Sight to our own self, so we can toggle between seeing things that aren't there and seeing things that are there. And we've made it into Eden, the Lost Garden. This is where Adam and Eve were whenever the world started, and were cast out of for falling into the traps of the devil, for all of you who don't know Christian mythology if you want to call it mythology. I am actually Christian, but some people don't believe it, so it's always nice to inform. So, uh, what's going on with the mist over here? Would you serve in heaven or rule in hell? The storm is coming, Uriel. Soon, I will need you at my side. I would follow you into hell, my lord. They knew. How did they? <laughs> the best laid plans. 
Or so the humans used to say. You... did this? You plotted and schemed to call us to this world. I simply took advantage of your initiative. No. I will consider this an offering, Abaddon. And you, my loyal servant, join me and take up the mantle of the Destroyer. No. Once the throne learns what you've done, you'll be cast down, dragged in chains before the Council. You're already damned. So I offer you this choice. Would you serve in heaven or rule in hell? Return to Azrael. Persuade him to help us. Then, together, we will change the face of the universe. <laughs> Abaddon must be punished. He bends the law to his will, laughs in the face of the council. What proof do we have? The seals are intact. No doubt the angel had help, but from whom? Until we know, we must wait. His act breeds open defiance. The council weakens. How long before we are overthrown? We cannot stop Abaddon, but there are others who might, if they had reason. We cannot send the four. Without proof, there is no justice, only murder. They will see no reason in this assassination. We will send one for whom vengeance is reason enough. Wait. The blade is scattered. I guard the seventh seal. This world is ours. Heaven is ours. <laughs> you had to know it was a one-way ticket. New sword? Shiny. Or was it just a dream? We got something. Return to Azrael. Actually, I want to look around a little bit first. I don't know where I'm trying to look around at, but I want to look around a little bit first. Because supposedly, somewhere in Eden is the last piece of the armor. I don't know if that means that we're going to get it now. And I don't know if that means we're going to get it later. But there is no, no problems in giving it a little search first. Because if we get this last piece, we'll have the full suit. And hopefully that will mean being able to equip it and maybe not take nearly as much damage. So uh, let's actually walk around and see if we can't uh, do a little traversing, traveling, and exploring this world first before we just give up on uh, finding the peace. Because we only went straight for our objective last. So, let's give it a nice little uh, search down. I don't actually know where this piece is. I've only looked up the pieces before this one. I simply know that the last piece exists somewhere inside of Eden. And that there's a chest over here. Interesting. It's just got regular souls in it, but it was a chest. But is that the only thing we can find in here? It looks like there's a hidden pathway back here. And a chest with... Wait for it. Did the game freeze? I think the game froze. Oh, wait. The Abyssal Armor! This legendary precision-crafted armor allows war to sustain much more damage. 
Oh man. Oh man, guys. Look at this. With the death mask on and every- or I guess it's not death mask, but with the shadow mask on and everything, we look amazing. And this is actually the armor that Shadow War was wearing whenever we uh, fought him. You can see from the frill on his back. This is the Abyssal Armor. This is the reason why I spent all last episode, or part of last episode, and a good better half of an hour and a half to two hours, searching for the remaining pieces that I had not gathered up. We finally have it. The Abyssal Armor. This, I believe it doubles our damage threshold. Like, it, it halves the damage that we take. But I'm not entirely certain. I never looked up the stats for it. I just wanted to look up where the pieces were to make sure that we got it. Well? Abaddon is the destroyer. The Archangel? He was betrayed. He is only a pawn in some greater game. You must bring him peace. Peace? Abaddon is the destroyer. I'm pretty sure peace is off the table. Did you find any clues among the visions? A way to stop him? There was a sword. One which broke the seals. The Armageddon Blade. But... After the seals were broken, Abaddon ordered the blade destroyed on the very anvil of its creation. Horseman... I fear the blade is lost to us now. It will be made again. What else did you see? Abaddon guards the seventh seal. He plots with others to storm the White Gates. Uriel will lead the Hellguard against him and fail. What else did you see? I saw nothing else. I will open a gate to Eternus. Once it is closed, the garden and its secrets will be lost forever. When you are ready, I will begin. So, I guess that, uh, that, uh, also agrees with me in saying, if you don't pick up the last piece of the Abyssal Armor here now, you don't get a second chance to come back here and get it. I'm really happy that I actually spent the time to make sure that I knew where the last piece was. Because otherwise, we wouldn't be looking nearly as awesome as we do now. Anyway, it is about time. We had a, It was a very cutscene heavy episode, but we got some serious progress. We defeated Straga. We got the last piece of the Abyssal Armor. We look like a total badass. And uh, we have gotten our next goal. If Abaddon really is the Destroyer, the only way to defeat him is to reforge the Armageddon Blade. Anyway, I've been Paladin Null, this has been Darksiders, and as always, I will see you guys later. Bye bye